Now we're going to start talking about the pipe command, the pipe surface command. Now this is a tool that you may have seen me use before. Uh, what I'm actually going to do for this is work in my perspective viewport. So I'll create first a simple curve. Then we're going to go to our perspective viewport. I'm going to go up here to my viewport button and click maximize. Now I'll close that window. I'll hold control and right click to zoom out a little bit. And here we see the curve that I've been working with. Now to create a pipe surface, I want to go to my solids tool menu here, and there it is, pipe. And when I click that, I need to click a curve. At this point, as you can kind of picture, it's going to create a pipe that snakes the length of the curve. But what I need to do, and I have my near snap on, as you can see, my object snap. We'll turn that off. We don't want any snapping on at this point. What I'm going to do is pick the diameter of each end of the pipe separately. Now I can do that by selecting a diameter, by moving my mouse around, then left click. Then I can do the same with the other end. Now actually, if I'd like the diameter to be the same as the previous diameter that I just picked for the other end, I can just right click. Then we have a pipe that's going to be the same diameter the entire length. I'll do a shaded preview. And there you can see our pipe. The pipe is a poly surface, as you can see. It's capped on either end. Now if I delete that, let's take a look up here. Shape bending equals local. Thick equals no. Cap equals yes. Diameter. These are some settings we can change. Well, let's click cap. Now I won't have a cap at either end left click and left click again now as you can see my pipe is a little different on either end because instead of right clicking when I got to this end here I actually selected a diameter by moving my mouse and then left clicking so this is a little different shape it's obviously bigger on one end okay now let's take a look at some of these other settings I'm going to select my curve again. And notice if my curve is not selected, when I press the tool, it tells me to select the curve. If my curve is selected, I can press the tool and get right into it. So either way is fine. Normally I tend to select the curve beforehand before I use the tool. Let's try thick equals yes. and see now what we're doing we're actually selecting two diameters for one end and two for the other now let's take a look at what happened now as you can see we've actually created a real sort of pipe like shape it has a thickness as well as a diameter on either side and I'm going to click my tool again select shape bending local or global I'm going to pick my two sides as you can see not much has changed there now part of the reason for that is that our curve is only working in two dimensions as you see if I move my viewport to here you can see it lies flat along here now that my pipe is created what if I wanted to bend it or sort of transform the pipe itself well what I would actually do is need a pipe that has no end caps on either end so let's delete that let's start over at this point I'll need to click cap no thick will leave on as no diameter can be changed to radius and all that's going to do is show you this guide here while you're creating the end so we'll change it back to diameter I'll click here and right click my pipe is the same diameter the way along now if I go to my transform menu any of these tools here bend 
I can actually bend my pipe. And because this is a perspective window, you can see it there bending in three dimensions. And the reason that I can bend it is because it is now a simple surface. It has no end caps. A poly surface cannot be bent or twisted or used with any of these tools here.